Dads of Reddit, what is your best don't tell your mother moment with your kid? My mum put my family on a diet and my dad hated it. I was catching the bus home from school and saw him at the corner dairy. I quickly got off the bus and ran into the store so I could get a ride, expecting to see him getting a loaf of bread or some milk. But instead I see him at the takeaways counter with the worker saying the usual, one chicken and chip lunch box. He sees me staring and we lock eyes and he knows he's been caught. Then just turns to the worker and says make it two please. We ate in the car and brought gum so she couldn't smell it on our breath. My mum had, still has, a distrust of McDonald's food. Can't really blame her to be fair. So when I was young I wasn't allowed to go to a birthday party at McDonald's. No after cinema treat at the place, you get the idea. When I was about 7 8 years old, my mum got a new job that required her to work in London Monday, Thursday. She would fly out Monday morning and fly back Thursday evening. Every Wednesday after school my dad brought me to the cinema and McDonald's. Turns out he adored the place and would get it for his lunch at work or whatever. I was told if we told her it would have to stop. We got about 3 years of Wednesday night cinema and McDonald's trips. Until this day she doesn't know I'm 30 years old. My mother is terrified of animals. However, she allowed us to have an outside farm dog. We built him the coziest dog house in our shed, insulated inside and out, complete with a giant heat lamp, but we only had straw we could put in it for his bedding. My dad came home one day and motions to my little brother and I to follow him. We go to the shed, where the dog house is. He's bought a $200 huge dog bed. We climbed in, my dad was too big to fit in the dog house and pulled out all the straw and dragged the bed in and made it all cozy for him. My dad made us swear we wouldn't tell our mom because she would flip. Years ago, I was 15 and babysitting for a family friend's visiting niece. Their house was out in the middle of BFE and they left a car there for emergencies. I had my learner's permit, so myself and the kid went for a ride out near their house. As we are riding around, we pass a car that looks a lot like my dad's. I have a slight panic moment and pull into a random driveway to turn around. My dad pulls up right behind me. He gets out of the car, comes up to the window and leans down to me. He said, you take this car home and we never speak of this again. Don't tell your mom. We've never spoken about it again. When I was around 16 I went to GameStop with my dad to trade in my Xbox 360 for the Xbox One. They had a deal where you get like $250 off if you traded in the 360 for the bone. So I saved up just enough from the weekend job I had at a chess store to be able to afford it with the deal. So we get there and it turns out I'm like a week late to the sale. I'm devastated, but my dad just covered the rest of the cost himself. I also sold a bunch of games I probably wouldn't use after which helped, but he still shelled out a good $100. I got the whole don't tell mom on the way home. My dad older brother and me were cleaning, and there was a bunch of boxes we were going through. One of the boxes had old photo books after good 30 minutes my dad chuckled and said nice. I look at the photo in his hand it was my dad maybe in his early 20s, surrounded by 5 naked women. My dad looks at me and said don't tell your mom about that one. P.S. It was before my dad and mom even met. Single parent family, so uncle is father figure. When I was 12 or so I worked on my uncle's lobster boat for the first time, banging lobsters, typical kid job. This was back before organized wholesalers, so my uncle often crated up his lobsters and stored them in the bay of a small island off the coast until someone wanted a lot of lobsters. The rig was simple, two 12-foot logs with three 50-ish foot lines between them and storm anchors at each end. Pull tight, the crates could be tied to two of the three lines with the three lines making two rows of crates up the bay. Dump an anchor, when it comes tight, dump the first log, stay out of the way of the three coils of rope peeling off the deck, when they come tight, dump the second log, hold that tight, until you dump the second anchor. So the entire rig is stretched over 75 feet of bay, Atlantic Ocean, in December, as tight as you can get it. Naturally kids are stupid, clumsy, and accident prone. 
I managed to be on the wrong side of that second log when it went over, and I went with it, wrapped in ropes and anchor chain, and everything else. Luckily as the anchor sank, it yanked me under, but then unwound like a top, so a split second later I was bobbing at the surface. Now, friend of the family, got me by the oil clothes with the gaff, and brought me back on board. Whole thing happened so fast, I didn't even get wet through to my underwear despite being dunked underwater. All my uncle could do was turn white and scream. Never ever tell the old woman, which was a single term, covering my mother, his mother and his sister, and then we never spoke of it again. To this day, I don't think the family knows. In this situation was the kid. While in college I was learning to ride a motorcycle, and like a dumb college kid I thought I was invincible. I learned quickly that in an argument between myself and the pavement, the pavement will win. Ended up badly breaking my wrist, and had some gnarly road rash. My mom was on a three week trip with her church group, and world have been in a right panic. She was very against the idea of me riding around on a motorcycle. After getting checked out at the air my dad said it'd be better for you if we don't tell your mom. My dad and I corroborated stories about selling the bike to help cover school costs. The way timelines with school and her trip overlapped, she never knew. We still have a laugh occasionally when it's just my dad and I in the room at family events. Not me, but my dad. My mother is super strict about my dad's diet, given his family's history of high blood pressure slash high cholesterol slash diabetes slash etc. Before I moved out, I remember seeing my dad's lunch that my mom packed. It was a massive Ziploc bag just packed to the brim with veggies and fruits. Like, she didn't even separate it. It was a clusterfuck of random things. Tomatoes, celery, strawberries, apple slices, broccoli, persimmon. So naturally, my dad was sneaking downstairs at night to eat some ramen. But my mom being sharper than a Damascus blade, would notice the smallest evidence, a little tiny spring onion scrap in the sink. Of course she'd notice the entire ramen packaging in the trash can. He'd just say I ate ramen. I'd say I ate it too. Sometimes we ate it together. Haha. <laughs> Not a father, but when I was younger my dad used to take me to the tab to place a bet every now and again. One time he had a go on the pokies, there were 6 machines, and he won $500 to $800 off every one of them in the space of 15 minutes. 13 year old me got a fistful of cash to not tell mum about his winnings. Funny that he is paying you to hide his winnings, not his losers. From when I was a kid, a bunch of us were playing wiffle ball in the neighbor's backyard. My dad and the father of the kid whose yard were playing in were playing with us. At one point the other DD lobbed a pitch into his son, who proceeded to send it through the kitchen window of their house. Cue much panicking on the part of us kids. The dads were much calmer, and he said to his son, don't tell mom. I will get some glass from the hardware store and nobody will know the difference. Mom was in the kitchen when the ball went through the window. Had plans to hit an out of town wedding, but had to take my son to get his hair cut, picked him up at school, and he was in a dreadful mood. I told him, if he'd go to his haircut without a fuss I'd let him have a Mountain Dew, which he is not allowed point got the haircut, went to a gas station, grabbed a 20 ounce Mountain Dew, and handed to him in the back seat, with Sue on England tell your moms. His 9 year old brain thought this meant he had to down 20 ounces of Mountain Dew on the 5 minute car trip home. He had been sitting in the middle, and he unbuckles and moves to the door, and puts the window down, and I'm like what are you doing, and then I realize he's feeling like barfing. We get home, he gets out, and lays down on the cool concrete, pressing his forehead to it, and says, never again. Son of the dad. When I was 16, I took scuba lessons, and in the final checkout dive of the course, a man very publicly died due to bad instructors. My dad and grandparents were in attendance as the man's lifeless body was hauled on shore and violently given CPR for 20 minutes. After this had all gone down, weeks later we decided to still take our scuba trip, after retaking the last test dive. While on the trip, we took and completed several dives then a deep open water course. Right after we were certified to dive past 60 feet, we did a wreck dive, 
just the two of us on a local dive boat, at over 100 feet. At the very end of the dive, we got blown off the wreck at 110 feet by a very strong current, and couldn't make it back. We had to wordlessly decide to struggle against the current in open water, with very little air remaining, towards the boat's anchor line. Due to our depth and time on station, ascending uncontrolled would have killed us both. When we, barely, made it back to the line, and began our decompression, my dad had 50 pounds of air, I had 800. When we surfaced, he was at flat zero, and myself at 200. We came minutes from death in the worst ways possible. We decided not to tell mom about that one. The dad has a message for you. Don't tell your mother you liked, and sub for nothing in return.